Hello everyone, welcome to Spec eLearn, the online learning channel dedicated to chemical engineers. Fluid transport in pipe, piping system design considerations for two types of bags. In this video course, you will learn the types of valves, design and construction features, their working principles. Please subscribe to the channel. By subscribing, you will motivate us to produce knowledgeable video content for you. So subscribe now before you forget. Having discussed in part 1 the process design considerations in pipeline material selection and sizing of pipeline, we will be discussing in part 2 the types of valves which are part of the piping system. Before I get into the video subject matter, I would like to make an important announcement to my dear viewers. Your spec Elan channel has started a new initiative called Channel Membership. The members joining the channel will get exclusive perks which include members only videos and question and answers with priority on the published video content specially designed for your career advancement. An opportunity to learn skills and knowledge which are difficult to get or you will take years to learn otherwise in the workplace. Join now and support us. Knowledge and understanding of the types of valves to be used for different fluid flow applications is important for a chemical engineer. Applications include oil and gas industries, refineries, petrochemical plants and other chemical process industries. Wide range of applications also need wide range of valves to meet the specific process requirement. Types of valves Valves are important components of the piping system. Valves are required in the piping systems for varieties of reasons which include 1. Isolation of fluid moving equipment such as pumps and compressors. 2. Regulation of flow through pipelines. 3. Isolation valves for drains and bends. 4. Isolation of control valves in the feed streams to vary the process equipment like reactors and separation columns. These may be manually operated or remote operated depending on the process requirement. Continuous processes and batch processes need a different selection criteria when it comes to the type of valves. Strainers and filters are required for smooth functioning of pumps and compressors. There are several types of valves that are used in the piping systems. Gate valves, globe valves, ball valves, plug valves, butterfly valves, and diaphragm valves. How does a process engineer select a valve from the above list? It depends on the function the valve is expected to do in the piping system. These functions are broadly grouped under isolation or shutoff, flow regulation or throttling, reverse flow or backflow. Let me now walk you through the different types of valves, their salient features, and demonstrate some of the applications to make your understanding better. If you are ready, let us move on. Gate valves. Gate valves are used for isolation or shutoff function. This type of valves have only two positions, either fully open or fully closed, on or off. Shown in this figure is a gate valve. The valve consists of gate-like disc which is moved up or down by turning a screwed stem and a hand wheel. So the valve movement is linear. 
in fully closed position, the gate seats against the faces and stops the flow. They are unidirectional valves and the flow is straight through from the upstream end to the downstream end of the valve. That is to say, the flow direction does not change as it travels through the valve port. It is always perpendicular to the position of gate. Majority of the valves in the process plants are of this type. They are typically used for isolating process equipment like pumps, compressors, reactors, distillation column, etc. for inspection and maintenance jobs. The unidirectional flow design and full port area for flow results in small pressure drop. There are four types of gate valves that are commonly used in the process plants. They are 1. Wedge gate valves, 2. Knife edge gate valves, 3. Parallel slide gate valves, 4. Slab gate valves. Wedge gate valve. This is the most common type of gate valve. The tapered wedge gates move between two similar tapered wedge seats. They are usually metal seated but also available in non-metal resilient seats. Knife edge gate valve. This valve has a knife edge single piece gate. The gate because of its sharp edges has the ability to cut through the solids in the fluid flow. Hence suitable for slurry surfaces. Parallel slide gate valve. This valve consists of two parallel gates that are held against the seats by the force of springs between the disc or gates. This design permits thermal expansion of gates in high temperature surfaces. Slab gate valve. This valve has a single slab which is parallel faced. The valve has a hole on the slab which has the same diameter as the wall bone. Shown in the figure below is a slab gate valve. As the valve is opened, the slab gate moves up from the closed position. When the slab hole reaches the bore opening, the fluid starts flowing. When the valve is closed, the slab hole moves down, reaching the bottom position, blocking the bore. Then the flow is stopped. Globe valves. Globe valves are used for regulating the flow through the piping system. By adjusting the stem travel, the globe can be positioned and at required opening, thus enabling flow regulation through the valve. The valve motion is linear. Illustrated in this figure is a globe valve. In this valve shown, the lower half is connected to the inlet port and the upper half is connected to the outer port. The shape and internal construction of the valve cause the flow of the fluid to change its direction twice. Due to this directional change and smaller port area, when the valve is throttled to regulate the flow, the pressure drop in a globe valve is higher. Butterfly valves. The butterfly valve belongs to the rotary type of valves and consists of a flapper or a blade that rotates in horizontal or vertical direction by the action of a shaft that permits the liquid to flow. It gets its name from the wing-like action of the disc which operates at right angles to the flow. The pressure drop in the valve is low due to the internal design as the only resistance to flow is due to the blade. Before we move on, I would like to make a call to my dear viewers. Your spec eLearn channel is one-stop learning and skill development destination for your career needs. Get instant access to useful career-oriented subjects and become knowledgeable and competent. 
so do not forget to subscribe please press the subscribe button now illustrated in the figure is a butterfly valve the blade or the flapper is shown in close position when the hand wheel is turned by 90 degrees the valve blade moves to full open ball valves ball valve consists of a spherical ball that contains bore at the center that run straight through it this valve belongs to rotary type of valves ball valves have opening either in full bore or smaller bore in full bore valve the opening matches the pipe diameter this valve is used in services that require quick opening or closing a ball valve is shown in this figure this valve is used as on off valve it takes only 90 degrees turn to move from full open to full close hence the name quick opening valve when in full open position there is less turbulence hence low resistance to flow and low pressure drop plug valves plug valve consists of a plug that contains bore that runs through the plug the bore is conical or cylindrical and the bore size is same as the pipe diameter hence it allows full flow A plug valve is shown in this figure. The valve takes 90 degrees turn to move from close to open and vice versa. The valve provides tight shut off when closed. This is used in services that require quick opening and closing. When in full open position, there is less turbulence and hence low resistance to flow and low pressure drop. All the above mentioned valves can be motor or pneumatic operated from remote control room DCS panel as shown in this figure. Diaphragm valves. Diaphragm valves uses a thin diaphragm or membrane to open or close the valve. The diaphragm is made of soft, flexible material which is elastic, non-corrosive such as rubber or plastic. This figure shows a diaphragm valve. A valve works by the action of an elastic diaphragm attached to a compressor by means of a stud. When you want to close the valve, the compressor or the actuator is rotated or pressed and the downward moving stem forces the diaphragm to the seat. When the compressor or the actuator is lifted, the diaphragm lifts allowing the liquid to flow. Check valves. Check valves are unidirectional valves and their main purpose is to prevent reverse or backflow in a piping system. They are fitted to the valve body and do not require any external actuation. Since the moving part of the valve is fixed internally, you cannot find the actual position of the valve from outside. There are two types of check valves lift check valves and swing check valves. In lift check valves, the disc is either a piston or a ball. Lift check valves are suitable for high pressure applications where the velocity of the fluid is very high. The seat of the lift check valve is that of a globe valve. The fluid enters from below the seat. Ball type check valve relies on gravity to function. Hence it is installed in vertical direction in the piping. Shown in this figure is a piston type spring loaded check valve. Once the minimum fluid pressure is attained, the pressure of the fluid lifts the disc and allows the liquid to flow. If the pressure reduces due to any reason, the piston or the ball falls back to seat and preventing flow reversal. Lift check valves are used in application where the pipe is smaller in size. The pressure loss are higher compared to the swing check valve.
swing check valves. In swing check valves, the moving element of the disc which is hinged to the body swings open by the pressure of the flowing fluid to permit the flow. Both lift check valve and swing check valve are unidirectional valves. Shown in this figure is a swing check valve. When the flow stops, there is no force to keep the moving element open and hence snaps close to prevent the black flow. The pressure P1 of the fluid upstream of the valve is greater than pressure P2. If the pressure P1 reduces and becomes less than P2 due to any reason, the element snaps back to the seat, preventing flow reversal. Please subscribe to our channel and get updates on the upcoming courses by pressing the subscribe button. It will motivate us to produce free knowledge rich video content for you. With this we have come to the end of the presentation. Please give your comments if any about this course after you finished viewing this video. Share with your friends and colleagues to reach out to large number of career oriented professional students. Thank you for watching.